Hello Internet, this is Will Stone, I'm here with the 15-inch Samsung Series 9 NP900 4XC. Uh, this guy has 16 gigs of RAM and also Windows 8 on it. So I put it on for a dev boot camp that I went to and it's actually pretty nice. I last reviewed it in September of 2011 when I put it on a tablet that's also on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, this is what it's, it looks like. It's optimized for a touch, but uh, they like to emphasize that it does work without a touch screen. Obviously this isn't one. Um, so you can scroll through your apps and whatever, your tiles here, drag them around, rearrange them, create groups and whatnot. Uh, there are some shortcuts uh, to open up the things like this charms bar, um, which is Windows C, I guess. And uh, here you can get to settings and other stuff like that. Turn off the computer, control the screen, and whatnot. Uh, install without a hitch, and every Windows 7 program that I've tried to install has worked fine. That's one of the uh, selling points, I guess. It's backwards compatible. Um, I just noticed just now that when I change the volume, it has its own built-in uh, bar for that. And you can get back to the desktop by just clicking the start again or by hitting escape. Um, but if you go down here, the start button is replaced by this uh, Metro style apps place. It's kind of interesting development platform. You can actually develop Metro and desktop apps for Windows 8 using entirely JavaScript and HTML, which uh, makes a lot of sense, which is pretty cool. Um, otherwise, it's pretty basic Windows 7 experience, um, except for when you actually click on some of these other things, it pulls up um, the more Metro style. But uh, overall, it's supposed to run a little bit faster than 7 and use less battery life. Um, I haven't done a rundown yet, but it is showing two and a half hours with 50% remaining, which I put on par with Windows 7. But I haven't really installed any drivers. This is kind of just out of the box install. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, it, it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I might actually even leave it on here because I like it and it works. Um, so yeah, so you can actually download a copy of Windows 8 now and I have some inside information that it will be released October 24th. Um, you can start building apps as well. There is a marketplace link that people, I guess, aren't supposed to have. But um, yeah, I guess message me if you want it. I have it written down in my email somewhere and you can start building an app for Metro and for Windows 8. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.